guys, it's Heather from Tell of a Plan. I'm here today doing a plan with me in my mini happy planner. This planner is my on the go planner. It stays in my purse and it um, helps me to remember what all I need to do, do when I'm not at home. So this week um, I will be planning in this mini planner from January 16th to January 22nd. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull these pages out of my planner. I just think that it's easier to plan when pages are not on the discs. It's easier to write, easier to apply washi, and so forth. Um, so this week, since the, these pages have this for, uh, floral design down here, um, then I'm gonna be using the sticker book that coordinates with that floral design. This sticker book is the one that was released in October. Um, and it's got these same floral accents in the book. So I thought it would be fun to use these stickers this week. So the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna flip to the floral accents. And I'm gonna show you how you can, even though this is a mini planner, you can still use these big stickers in it. So. For example, the sticker is huge. If I were to just stay here, it would take up a lot of space. But a little trick is if you put it up here in the corner and then oh, you can cut off the edges. So I can snip it like this and take that sticker. I can snip it like this. And now I have that fun floral accent up in the corner. And I still have these two um, parts of that floral that I can add in other spots. So maybe I want to put another floral accent right here. And I'm just going to line it up with the top of that page. Well, it'd probably help if I... So just line it up with the tip and then maybe this one... Um, maybe I want it to kind of peek out of this corner right here. All right, so with one sticker, one big sticker, I've been able to add that floral design in across the whole, all the pages. Now I do want to add in some other colors just besides the pink, just to kind of tie it in even more with these colors down here. So I'm going to take this yellow one and I'm actually going to place it right here just to kind of tie in that yellow from over here to over here. I'm gonna take another yellow sticker. I'm gonna put it up here. And again, I'm gonna cut with my scissors. And then I can take this extra yellow and I can place it over here. So once again, I'm just tying in some more of those floral accents from this corner into the whole spread. Um, I'm also, I really like that purple that's down here. Um, I don't know if I have, it doesn't look like I have another of the purple. Um, so I may leave it like that for now, but I am gonna, I can take a leaf to even tie in some of the green. And then I'm going to just trim that up right here. Can take another leaf over here, kind of have it go off the page a little bit. One thing I love about these um, floral stickers that are in this sticker book is that they don't look like stickers once they're on your page. They look like, um, you know, they look like they were printed on the page that way. So here I'm just putting the green leaf and then trimming it. See, it just looks like it's painted onto the page. I love these floral stickers. So I really like now that this floral design that was in this corner has now been brought throughout the page, so it makes it look really cohesive. I really like that. Okay, so as you know, the minis are a horizontal layout. I'm really not that great with a horizontal layout because I'm just so used to the vertical boxes. So I like to split my layout still into the vertical boxes. So the past week, um, let me flip to it to show you. You can see that I used washi down the middle 
to kind of block them off into boxes. But I don't really have um, a really basic washi that matches these colors, so I'm actually gonna use this deco pen. These deco pens were released, um, I think with the October release, if I remember correctly, um, and they're just a fun little accessory. They're kind of like washi tape, but um, they're like a tape runner. Washi tape and it meets a tape runner. So Mambi has a ton of these, lots of fun designs. So this one's just the pink scallop. So I'm gonna use this deco pen to um, trace down here. Now, one thing I do like to do is I like to have a straight, um, something straight to kind of guide the deco pen so that I'm not super wiggly. That's just a little trick on how to get the deco pen straight. So I'm gonna um, put that, I'm gonna try and run this right along this sticker book just to make sure that I stay straight. Okay, so you can see here where I messed up a little bit, um, but I'm probably just gonna use a sticker to cover that up. But one thing that you could do if that really bothers you is the deco pins are really easy to pull up by using washi tape. So you could take washi and just stick it on there. And you see how it's pulling that bottom up? So that's just a little trick for you if you do mess up with your deco pin. I'm probably just gonna put a sticker here to cover that up, but that's just one thing that you can do. So I've split it up over here. And now over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so that was just a quick, easy way to use the deco pen. So again, I'd like to use a sticker book or something similar to help make it straight. Um, and washi tape does pull it up if you mess up. So now that I've kind of divided these into boxes, then I'm gonna go back to this sticker book and I'm going to start putting in um, decorative elements. So I think that I really like this sticker. It has one, two, three, four, but it's also got that floral accent. Um, so I'm thinking, see, I'm trying to decide where I want to put that. I don't think I want to use that big of a sticker um, because if I cut it, it'll fit in one of these boxes better. So I'm going to cut it just like this. That way it still has the floral accent, but not a ton. And I'm gonna line it up here so that it fits right there in that box. So now I have this floral design. Um, I could add it to the page and I might decide to do that, but for now I'm just gonna stick it back here in this sticker book because I can always use that later. Um, I think it would be cute to add this black and white stripes here on the note box. I don't, I usually don't use this note box for much in my mini. Um, so I'm gonna try and cover it up with this sticker. Now the reason I pulled it back up was because um, it was covering up this design. So I'm actually gonna start here on the edge of the design and then lay it down like that. It did go over my holes a little bit, so in a minute I'm gonna grab my punch to re-punch those. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, and then I'll probably add just some fun stickers on top and just make this like a fun little quote section. So that one says, think happy, be happy. This one says, get it girl. Um, all right, so now I'm just flipping through to see what other stickers I wanna add in to this page. I'm gonna try and stick to mostly um, just this sticker book. Okay, so Monday, um, I don't have work, but I'll probably have some errands to do on Monday because whenever I have a three-day weekend, I just really like to avoid, enjoy Saturday and Sunday. So Monday, I'm gonna probably have some errands to run, so I'm gonna stick this sticker here that says places to go. And then I'm gonna go here to the hearts, and I really wanna tie in some purple to this page, so I'm gonna use these purple icon hearts to notate the places. So I'm probably gonna go to Aldi on Monday and I'm probably gonna go 
need to go to Target. So I'm going to use these two purple hearts to notate that. All right. Um, here, I still have this space next to these numbers. Um, so I think that I'm going to use this green one that says Aaron's and it has like a little arrow pointing. And I'm going to line that up right here. So now that just kind of notates that these are some errands that need to be run on Tuesday. All right, over here, I'm gonna add this little banner that says, I love weekends. I'm actually gonna trim it so that it fits a little bit better. So I'm gonna cut it right here next to the eye. And then stick it right here. We'll lay that down. It still hangs off the page just a smidge. So I'm going to use my scissors. It's always smart to have a pair of scissors handy when you're planning. All right. So that says, I love weekends. All right. Now I'm just flipping through, um, looking for what other stickers I want to use. I do want to pull in some purple over here too. So I'm going to grab this, make today great. I'm gonna stick that right there. So that's just a fun little motivational corner for my week. I really like how that looks. Um, here, remember I wanna cover up that spot where I mess up deco pens. If you mess up in your planner, I always try to tell people don't freak out because a sticker fixes everything. So like you see how this isn't connected and it just doesn't look as good. I'm gonna stick that sticker right on top and now you would have never known. And now I'm gonna go back to these little boxes that are in this sticker book. This one says, remember, I'm gonna layer it on top of that sticker. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab, actually that might be a little too big, so I don't, I think I'm gonna take one of these little ones. So these are like little um, diamonds, or I'm sorry, triangles. I'm gonna put that right here just to notate that. All right, I'm really liking how this is turning out. I am gonna grab um, my teacher sticker book. I love this sticker book for my mini planner because um, it has checklists that fit in these boxes. So these checklists right here fit in your mini. So I'm gonna grab this green one just to tie in the green. And I'm gonna add that here on Sunday. So now I have it, that checklist for Sunday. Um, I'm gonna add this little pink sticker that says busy day ahead. And then on Tuesday, we actually um, don't have, it's a school day. If you didn't know I'm a teacher, it's a school day, but it's um, a teacher work day actually. So. I'm going to, I'm trying to decide if I want to use the one that says professional development. They don't have one that just says work day. <laughs> Sometimes you have to really think things, these things through. So I think I'm going to take this green one. No, nope, because I used green right here, so I don't want to use green again. Um, I'm going to take a blue one. Actually, I'm gonna use, I've changed my mind, I'm gonna use my alphabet letters for that. So I'm gonna put this away. Um, I do, Monday we don't have school, it's MLK day. Um, so this teacher book should, I can't remember if the holidays are gold or black in this one. I think they're gold though, and I really would want black. Um, you know, the holiday pages that are have like all the holidays. I bet it's in the seasonal if I haven't already used it. Do, do, do. Nope, not in there. I'm trying to think what, this is one problem when you have 18 sticker books is you can't remember exactly where every single sticker is. But now that I think about it, I think it's in this one. Yep. Let's see here. Uh, I've already used it. Okay, I was looking for the Martin Luther King 
sticker book if you were wondering what I was looking for um, to notate Martin Luther King Day. That's okay though. I'm just going to use this green one. It says no school and this is from the mom sticker book. Um, you would think that it would be from the teacher sticker book, but it's not. It's from the mom. Um, so I'm going to put like a little star and then no school. All right. I really like how I've tied in green here, but I think that's probably enough green. Um, Sorry, I, ha I apologize for the moments when I stop talking. It's like I'm um, thinking and I forget to talk to you guys. So that's my bad. I'm just now flipping through the mom one just to see if there's um, anything else that I want to throw in here. Um, so like I really like this one that says today. It's a box sticker. I'm going to put that right here on Saturday. I think it just kind of ties in another color. Um, and I really like this yellow one. So I'm going to put it here on Wednesday, just again to tie in some more colors. I think I'm almost finished because I don't want to go too, too crazy. Um, Sorry, I'm thinking again. I'm thinking that it would be fun to peel this back up. This is a trick that I learned um, from watching, I think it was Jenny's um, Playing With Me video. She takes these weight stickers and then she just uses other stickers to cover up um, the part that actually makes it look like a scale. And then she has like a little box that she can write on. So like now, where it says no school, I can write in M L K Junior Day. And then that kind of notates why I don't have school. So that turned out really cute. Okay, I think I'm done decorating these pages because I don't want to go too, too crazy. And this is already a lot more stickers than I would normally use. So I'm just going to take um, a few icon stickers, stick those. I like to use these as bullet points. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place those where I want them. Um, and then once I finish up with that, then I will be done with this mini planner spread. Again, I used classic stickers, big stickers in this book or in this plan with me. I know that um, there's not a sticker book right now for the mini planner, but you can still um, play around with it and make your stickers fit. Um, these banner stickers are just a fun little way to accent um, a corner that might look a little bit empty. Okay, so this is good for me. I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you learned something that you can take with you and implement in your own planner. Um, if you want to see this week after it's filled out, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Kel of a Plan. Um, I'll post this part on Thursday and the whole spread probably on Saturday. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe so that you can see more of my videos and happy planning.